some exercises and some practice from the book as well so first let's start from the book hmm okay <clears throat> so last week we were doing this chapter number 4 capital fear good appetite so we would be proceeding further with this chapter only so now this page number seite number 43 now es gibt ein einladung die einladung das bedeutet invitation lesen sie die sms welche antwort passt now there is um, one quick exercise followed by the theorem part let's just read it and then let's try to understand what this is all about and you can you read these these three of uh, abc uh, sentences okay 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 danke für die einladung einladung morgen haben wir wir keine zeit aber viel vielleicht am um, wochenende hmm. okay let there be Gern, wir kommen und bringen das Fleisch mit. Bis später, später. Sie, wo seid ihr? Wo, wir warten schon, das Essen ist gleich fertig. fertig. Okay, so now there is one invitation from Mario and Elena. This is basically a snapshot of an SMS. Heute Abend grillen bei uns. So Mario and Elena, they are planning a grill party at their place and they are inviting their friends. So heute Abend to the evening grillen bei uns. Bei uns as in at our place, at us. Kommt ihr? Are you guys coming? then there are three answers which one do you think should be the suitable so number a danke für die einladung die einladung as i said das bedeutet die einladung das bedeutet invitation und dann einladen das bedeutet to invite so while reading german now you will see most of the nouns are coming from their verb only so einladen that means to invite and then einladung that means invitation so that is like a noun version of this verb now danke für die einladung thank you for the invitation morgen that means morning haben wir keine zeit aber vielleicht am wochenende but maybe at the weekend then number b gan that means gladly okay we are common un bringen das fleisch mit bis später okay we would be coming and we would be bringing the meat also with us till then wo seid ihr where are you guys why we are warten schon das essen ist gleich fertig so number c is where are you guys we are already waiting das essen ist gleich fertig the food is finished already so which one do you think should be the suitable answer for this particular sms a b or c b okay saurabh so, rajbir what do you think a b or c Rajpeet, Saurabh, you guys are on mute. Okay, okay. That's B, ma'am. Second. Yes, B. Why B and why not A and C? Because A here it means morning. We don't have any time, but here the SMS is about evening. So any which way, this would not be the right answer. And then here in C, people are talking about that they are waiting already and the food is already finished. So again, this would not be suitable. So no way. that is correct now 
let's do one quick listening exercise before we proceed with the grammar portion so mario und oh. elena planen das abend essen so these two people uh, mario and elena they are planning a, a dinner at their place hören sie und lesen sie das telefon gespräch telefon gespräch das bedeutet telephonic conversation gespräch that means conversation und das telefon gespräch das bedeutet telephonic conversation ergänzen sie die einkaufszettel so they are basically talking over the phone and they are discussing what we have to buy so einkaufszettel as in buying the slip which you prepare when you go for shopping so what we have to do here we have to make a list what is mario is buying or what is he saying and then the grocery items which maria is saying okay so i'm just sharing the audio aufgabe 6b wir machen den salat und kaufen die getränke und katz und lukas kaufen das fleisch und die würstchen Okay, was brauchen wir denn noch für den Salat? Haben wir alles? Moment. Karotten, Salz und Essig haben wir. Wir brauchen Tomaten, Oliven, Öl, eine Gurke und Getränke. Ach, und ein Stück Käse. Wir haben keinen Käse mehr. Gut. Ich gehe zum Markt und kaufe das Öl, die Tomaten, die Gurke und die Oliven. Und ein Brot nehme ich auch mit. Prima. Ich kaufe den Käse und die Getränke im Supermarkt. Und dann essen wir ein Eis im Valentino. Ja, das ist eine gute Idee. Also dann, bis gleich. Aufgabe I'm playing it once again. Aufgabe 6b. Wir machen den Salat und kaufen die Getränke und Katrin und Lukas kaufen das Fleisch und die Würstchen. Okay, was brauchen wir denn noch für den Salat? Haben wir alles? Moment. Karotten, Salz und Essig haben wir. Wir brauchen Tomaten, Oliven, Öl, eine Gurke und Getränke. Ach, und ein Stück Käse. Wir haben keinen Käse mehr. Gut. Ich gehe zum Markt und kaufe das Öl, die Tomaten, die Gurke und die Oliven und ein Brot nehme ich auch mit. Prima. Ich kaufe den Käse und die Getränke im Supermarkt. Und dann essen wir ein Eis im Valentino. Ja, das ist eine gute Idee. Also dann, bis gleich. Verstanden? Understood? Okay. So, now tell me, this person is Mario. What all is he buying? Let's read what they were talking about. So we are machen den Salat und kaufen die Getränke und Karin und Lukas kaufen das Fleisch und die Würsten. So these two people are preparing Salat and they are buying the drinks. And their friends who are coming over, their name are Katrin and Lukas. And they are buying the Fleisch, that means meat and Würsten. Okay, then this female is saying, was brauchen wir denn noch für den Salat? What brauchen, das bedeutet, need. That means, what do we need more for the salad? <coughs> wir brau was brauchen wir denn noch für den Salat? So for the salad, what else do we need more? Noch as in more. Or what else do we need? Haben wir alles? So that is a year nine frage. Do we have all? Now, one quick thing. Alle, das bedeutet all. And alles, das bedeutet everything. Similarly, nicht bedeutet not. Aber nichts. Das bedeutet nothing. So, alle, das bedeutet 
all and then alles das bedeutet everything nicht that means not and then nicht with s das bedeutet nothing alles oder nichts everything or nothing gehen wir weiter so again this person is saying moment karoten that means carrot salz that means salt, salt. und essig haben wir okay. wir brauchen tomaten oliven öl eine gurke und getränk so he is saying carrot salz und essig we already have we we need tomatoes olives oil cucumber and then drinks ah und ein stück käse and one slice of cheese we haben keinen käse mehr we don't have any more cheese then this female is saying gut ich gehe zum markt und kaufe das öl die tomaten die gurke und die oliven so this female is saying okay i'll go to the market and i'll purchase all these things und ein brot nehme ich auch mit and also i'll bring along one bread prima ich kaufe den käse und die getränke im supermarkt and then this person is saying that he'll buy cheese and the drinks or beverages in the supermarket now main thing is here in this conversation if you guys must must have noticed there are some of the articles which were not there thus the thus but some of the articles were placed yes. were as then so they were not there but they were then and why they were then because they were accusative cases so this is a grammar topic which we would be covering what are nominative cases and what are accusative cases yes, so ma'am. before before we see this table uh, racial anji sorab rajvi do you guys have any have any confusion or any question regarding this table or the listening portion we did uh, no ma'am no 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 okay nine okay one more quick question apart from the uh, like conversation which is written here there was one more line if, if you guys must have noticed so they were planning to go somewhere after the shopping so what did they say i'll play the audio again and then tell me just the last portion i'm playing good <coughs> audible yeah Ich gehe zum Markt und kaufe das Öl, die Tomaten, die Gurke und die Oliven. Und ein Brot nehme ich auch mit. Prima. Ich kaufe den Käse und die Getränke im Supermarkt. Und dann essen wir ein Eis im Valentino. Ja, das ist eine gute Idee. Hmm. So what did the female say? Said at the last? Valentino. Valentino. <laughs> okay. So what did she say? So she said... then we will Und be having a screen in valentino <laughs> i in valentino so valentino is the name must be the name of a place where they are planning to go for ice cream so i yes ma'am yes, she was talking about ice cream <laughs> now proceeding further now anji rachel pay attention to this sheet now in moment okay so guys this is a very important topic when it comes to grammar so in german we have lot of cases now we have basically four cases nominative accusative dative and genitive so 
so as of now we would be understanding what nominative cases are and what accusative cases are so the bestimmt and unbestimmt articles which we have learned so far they were basically in nominative cases but now we are going to learn the same articles how they behave how they perform when it comes to accusative case could you repeat uh, what you said about nominative and that line which line i haven't said anything as of now like anything which okay. hmm. so i was saying that we are going to understand how the nominative and like how these articles behave in nominative case and in accusative case so the articles which we have learned so far they were in nominative so there does the the then unbestimmt ein ein einer or einer they were in nominative case but when it come to accusative case these articles changes they change in accusative case also they change in dative case also and they change in genitive case also so as of now let's just understand accusative so the good thing about accusative is like not all the articles are changing here only this masculine section this changes so there changes to den and ein changes to einen so r is replaced by n <clears throat> similarly here also ein changed to einen there changes to den rest all remains same now the question is how would you decide whether to use dare or whether to use den so now to understand what is nominative case and what is accusative case so nominative case is basically your who case in the sentence <clears throat> and accusative is your what case in the sentence so uh, 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 uh. Hmm. so see this sheet so if i'm saying i am learning german so what would be the who case who is learning german so simply to identify the nominative and accusative case now you can ask about you can ask yourself who and what to yourself and then you will be able to decide which case is nominative and which case is accusative so if i'm saying a simple sentence i am buying a car so who is buying a car who i am buying a car so who will be our nominative case what am i buying what i am buying a car so car yeah. is what in the sentence so car would be accusative similarly i am mm, mm, i am reading a book so who is reading a book i am reading a book so what right. is so who is who in the case i so i would be nominative and then what am i reading a book so what is a book so what case is a book here so that will be accusative so anji ratio this is something new for you to specifically so tell me if this difference between nominative and accusative is clear or not or i'll repeat it again clear it's, it's, it's clear okay now hmm. now let's quickly do this exercise before we proceed what you have to do you have to figure out you have to tell me what is nominative and what is accusative so er hat ein buch he has a book so like who has a book he so er is nominative and then book is accusative so next sentence ich trinke uh, sorry i am back now i was away okay no problem so ich trinke den oder einen kaffee i am drinking a coffee so anji can you tell me which one is a nominative case and which one is a accusative case nominative is who nominative is ish and accusative hmm. is the coffee yes they are shown so ish is nominative and cafe is accusative now martin und gregor george kaufen viele cds 
racial can you tell me which one is dominative and which one is accusative nominative is mapping on doors right and the accusative is sedis very sure a uh, sorab peter hat den stift can you tell me which one is nominative and which one is accusative peter is nominative and mm -hmm. Then the stift is accusative. Right, Rajbir, number few. Can you tell me which one is nominative and which one is accusative? So hair Schmidt, uh, swing. Hair Schmidt is cola. a nominative and uh, cola and uh, iron beer are accusative men. Very shown. Unzar a gross Elton, expression Deutsch. So un so gross Elton, they are nominative. And then Deutsch, what they are speaking German. So Deutsch is accusative. Simple. Now, uh, ma'am, could I hmm. uh, could I say something or ask something? Ma'am, yep. ma'am, what we read it, what we uh, study uh, in English, the door of action is always uh, subject. Like uh, to find out a subject in a sentence, we always go with the who. Hmm. हमें सब्जेक्ट फाइंड आउट करना हो किसी भी सेंटेंस के अंदर तो हम हु के साथ जाते हैं हम्म तो सेम केस सेम केस यहीं पे है मैम नॉमिनेटिव केस हमें अगर नॉमिनेटिव uh, केस अगर हमें फाइंड आउट करना हो तो हमें हु के साथ जाना है मैम एंड या राइट सो इफ वी हैव टू फाइंड द सब्जेक्ट और नॉमिनेटिव वी विल गो विद हु एंड इफ वी हैव टू फाइंड द अकूजेटिव और द ऑब्जेक्ट वी विल गो विद व्हाट सेम थिंग वी ऑलवेज ऑलवेज यूज वर्ड फॉर ऑब्जेक्ट मैम हम्म राइट ओके Thank so you. now proceeding further since it is clear to us how to find who or nominative in a sentence or how to find accusative in a sentence now is it easy for us to understand yes. where we can use there or where we can use then and the ratio all right why can you repeat yeah. hmm so i was saying since we have understood now which word in sentence would be nominative and we know which which word would be accusative so now can we decide or distinguish where we have to use there nominative or where we have to use then accusative let me give you one quick example for that so uh is in book now one more thing anji racial whenever there is any is am are in a sentence that is a book that will always be nominative because here we are talking about that particular thing only i am a teacher that whole sentence is nominative because i am the teacher there, there is only one thing which we are talking about similarly that is ein book that is a book so book das one and the same thing so wherever we have is or is am r is <coughs> bin this is zaid zind when we have these um, like verb in a sentence in a small sentence that whole sentence will be nominative only because there is only one subject which we are talking about there is no object now that is ein book that is complete nominative Ab, then is schreiber. But if I write is, how for ein book here, this is will be nominative and then book will be accusative because is and book there are two different things, subject and object. Similarly, is how for similarly if I write, hmm, let me write it here only. Thus is ein tish. Now pay attention to this one. This is ein Tisch, aber <coughs> ich kaufe einen Tisch. Why einen Tisch here and why nur ein Tisch here? Because that is complete nominative. And here in this sentence, ich is nominative and then Tisch here becomes accusative because ich. Uh, that is who and tish is what <coughs> so tish is masculine so it has their article since in this sentence tish becomes accusative so we would not be writing ish kaufer der tish but we would be writing 
ich kaufe ein Nentisch oder den Tisch. I would not write there. Hmm. So I would not write there, but I will write den or einen because here tisch is akusatis and as we have seen in table, there changes to den in akusatis. Is this clear? Anji Rachel? Uh, could you repeat uh, den? Last sentence one. Ich kaufe den einen Tisch. So, so ich kaufe den or einen Tisch. Because this is accusative now. Who is buying the table? I am buying the table. So ish is our nominative. And then what am I buying? I am buying a table. So tisch is our accusative case. And accusative, since tisch is their tisch, so in accusative, the it would become den. Uh, and moment, let me divide it. Now, let's see it this way. Tish is a masculine thing. Tish is their tish. So, is how for den tish. Because tish is their tish. And in accusatis, that would become den or einen. As per this table. But, uh, book is neutral. So, book is das book. Book is accusatis case. And this would remain same. Because, Neutral does not change. In accusative, it's just there changes to then. Rest all remains same. So here I will write ich kaufe das book oder ein book. Here ich kaufe mm, vielleicht mm, die Tafel. Tafel that means blackboard. That is the. So the Tafel oder eine Tafel. And then ish cow for the CDs. That's just plural. Now see this thing. Or uh, just let's see or understand from this this table. Mm. So thus is thus their their tish is brow. That is completely nominative because as we discussed, whenever there is any is am are in the sentence that will always be nominative similarly for feminine the lamp for is noi the lamp is new again is that is nominative nominative thus fenster is often the window is open again is am are then neutral that will again be nominative similarly this plural case also the bushes in interessant the books are interesting so here you cannot question like uh, like what is interesting a book is interesting so interesting would be accusative no it's not an object it's just a adjective here similarly brown new often these are all adjectives these are not subjects because here whatever we are talking about here we are talking about our subject only so that is not separated from the subject so that is why this is completely nominative but if we compare this from this table, so ish, zeer, den, tish. Tish is masculine and here it is accusative. What am I seeing? A table. So there would change to den. For the feminine, ish, zeer, the lamp. The lamp is accusative. What am I seeing? A lamp. So the lamp, the would remain the only. That There is no change in accusative case. Same goes with neutral and with plural also. So here, the exercise which we are doing today is the main object is to understand how to find out nominative and how to find out accusative in a sentence and then using the articles, bestimmed articles and then unbestimmed articles in a sentence.
we understood already how we distinguish nominative and accusative and here in order to learn this table it is very simple to learn because only there is changing to then rest all remains the same yeah masculine only right right yeah any confusion in this one जी रेशल राजपीर सोना हेलो इट्स फाइन नॉट नॉर्मल नॉट नॉर्मल मैम बट आई होप वीडियो विल बी अवेलेबल वंस क्लास इज ओवर मैम ओके जस्ट गिव मी अ मिनट वी विल डू सम मोर एक्सरसाइजेस नाउ ओके let's quickly do this exercise verbally we'll all read sentences one by one and then we'll try to uh, fit in the definite article there the das order the so here first task is to understand what is nominative and what is accusative and if it's accusative if it's male then we would have to use the so rajbir let's start with you read first sentence Dash uh, water find uh, find it. Dash to mixed mixed good. Dear T E R. Dear water. Find it. Uh, find. Hmm. Here is D here. Mixed. Hmm. So your ka article hota hai D, D here. So what we fill D. in here? D I E. So their father find it D here. D. Nish. Now number two, Rachel, your turn. Rachel, you are on mute. The professor inscribed. they in brief they shown the professor in because that is female professor professor in so the professor in which is nominative shrived they in brief because brief is accusative and that is their brief that is into they next numadrai and your turn so for example this uh, what what is hap Ha to have, have an yeah. ish have a l z s heart. This is a yes no question. Heart dash brood dash book. Ha ha okay. There. Hmm. Okay. Heart there brood brood dash book. Right. Right. So heart there brood dash book. Next fear. Sort of your turn. Yeah, heart. Yeah, heart. Thus, no. Dear, book on. Book das is that. Sort of, we just did here. Book is that book. So that is in accusative. Yeah, so yeah, heart. That book on. D. D. Un. Then. It is there still, and it is accusative. Next, again, Rajmir, your turn. Yeah, uh, D. D I D. Okay. D. Frau, kauft. Kauft. Uh, what is this one? There. That means TV. D. Lamp. Das telephone. Das tel. Das telephone. Das. Start from here. Die Frau kauft. Die Frau kauft. Um. Uh, what is it? Could you repeat this word? Fernseher. That means television. Das. जैसे जब तुम्हारे पास आए वॉट कम इन द ब्लैंक 
टेलीफोन सो दे so i am shutting down the book or like closing the book door and the window so auf machen auf and then machen this is like another type of verb separable verb which we would be learning later in a1 next for your turn yeah die juma is sehr groß das zimmer zimmer is das zimmer guys whatever exercises we are doing just make sure you are learning the articles of each word thoroughly next one rajveer your turn pl here bedeutet plural that means bücher that means books plural das das book plural hai rajveer what would be the article D. D I E D. Next, Rachel, your turn. Treatment of critical illnesses like cancer, huh? Ah, ye or isko order na karo, order ya kuch kuch. Who's Rosine? The Kinder. E kinder. Kinder means children. Children. So, children. Mm, das kind. That means a baby or a child. And then the kinder plural children. So das kind and the kinder. Next one. Angie again your turn. Shrimp fish. Is there shrimp fish? There. Hmm. There is one because if there is the writing table. Next one, sorry, be your turn. Yeah, it say the shrimp. Sorry, of shrimp dish is there shrimp dish. We just did sorry, it. Sorry, it's there there. Is it accusative or nominative? It is accusative. So why there? Then. So in accusative form. They that sorry then it will be then that will be then it's accusative form then. No matter right saying Rajbir your turn. Uh, D ma'am. Read the sentence. We are that student and ma'am. उटिव एंड वॉट इज अकुजाटिव 
Nomin nominative is mother. Mm -hmm. English. And English is the accusative. Right. So you have same. Uh, Andrew Orton. Okay. Er und Frau Schmidt. First mm -hmm. Den Sohn. Den Sohn. Or there. Den Sohn. Den. And hmm. because this is object here. Yeah. Yeah. And the doctor Nick. Der Sohn und die Tochter nicht. Now, what you guys have to do, just a quick exercise for all of you. Like here, we have filled in definite articles which are there, the, thus, and they. In the next exercise, you guys will have to fill in indefinite articles, that is, unbestimmed articles. So now, which are ein, eine, and einen. So you have to figure out which one is nominative, which one is accusative, and then you have to fill in. Now, to make it a little easier for you, most of the articles are given there already. So in bracket S, that means this is something you have to write in your copy and then tell me in one go. Write it and send me the screenshot. Only answer, ma'am. Complete answer sentence. Only. Uh, whole sentence. No answers only. <laughs> What is Schwester? Schwester, that's the right. Sister. Be Schwester, their brother, brother and sister. Ah, sister. <coughs> what is that R? Close and open parenthesis R. That's the plural. I am just explaining that. <laughs> okay. Which one you're asking? 
so guys before you proceed mm-hmm. further just pay attention to this thing now yes. this is something not just related to this particular exercise but whenever you are referring to any um like dictionary so there what you will find the articles would be written in this manner in bracket they will not be like complete there the das but it would be written in this manner so if any word which is written before the noun that is the article and then if it's written after the noun that mean it's its gender so tasha is the tasha so for the it would return small e for there it would written small r and for neutral that would written small s so d e there r and then das that means x and after the noun that will be the gender so if it's written after the noun if it's written f that means it's feminine if after the noun if it's written m that means it's masculine and after the noun if it's written n that means neutral feminine masculine neutral similarly d there and das so that is the difference this is something you will find usually in dictionaries is it clear क्लियर आंजी नाउ ओके guys please keep yourself on mute
Written? Yeah. Okay. Send me whatever you have written, Angie. <laughs> I don't know. It's correct. <laughs> oh, no, no issue. Just send it. Uh, can you show me that table? Thank you. Okay, Saurabh and uh, Saurabh Rachel, are you guys done? Just Sorry, I didn't move. send. Okay, let me see. Rajveer and Anjali sent it already. Yeah, I'm just sending. Just one minute. Okay. So, uh, okay, Sarab, uh, you can send whatever you have done. Then we'll uh, just we let's just start start discussing, and then one sentence which everyone has written wrong. I don't know why the reason is specifically, but we'll discuss it. So Saurabh, I'm starting this exercise. Yeah. So here it will be Ayn Man Kant in class and simmer. So Ayn Man, that is nominative, and then class and simmer, that is accusative. So this is something I think everyone has written correct. Then hast du dash bruder oder schwester. So bruder, that is their bruder. Masculine und Schwester, das ist feminine. So hast du ein Nen Bruder. I think Angie, you have written mm -hmm. ein here. Yeah. Hmm. Eine Schwester. So I Nen. So do you? You is our oh, no, yeah, and then brother and sister. Both these words they are accusative. So I Nen Bruder oder eine Schwester. Then. I know Chio is Papu. So Chio is the Chio. So I know, not Ein, our I know. This is nominative. Hast do. This is something which all three of you have written wrong. I don't know why exactly. But so that's it. I name stool, guys. Hast do. Do is nominative and then stool is accusative. Stool is there, stool. So I name. Uh, repeat it, ma'am, please. So, has to I name stool? Do you have a chair? Stool is chair or stool. So, do you have a stool? Do that is nominative. You and then stool that is our object that is an accusative. So, there would be I name masculine. Na? So, that will be I name. 
see this table masculine inen yeah yeah so each look inen shul this is something rajbir you have written it i think correctly and g you wrote it from i think ain dan aina thash aina thash so thash yes, is the thash so aina and then shul their shul masculine so ainen then minus rest on ish zen first thing this is just out of the topic why we have written zen here because my schwester my sister and i plural so we so that is why it has been conjugated as per we are zen then minus mm. schwester ish zen einen einen yes einen freund freund is their freund and then freunding female freund so einen freund und eine freundin in der schule mm. heute kommt einen neffe neffe that means nephew der neffe so der neffe uh let me write it in your transcription sheet der neffe that means nephew und die nichte that means niece so der neffe nephew und die nichte nie so der neffe would turn to einen masculine so heute kommt mm nein sorry so heute kommt ein nephe von mir now eine studentin die studentin so eine heißt karin und das student heißt karl uh this what you guys have written ein ein hm ein because das ist nominative yes. so eine studentin heißt karin und ein student heißt karl sorry yes. how of your answers were correct yeah so how many number were correct number 4 is wrong number 4 is wrong and number 7 okay okay so is this particular thing clear yeah okay so today no homework for you guys just go through this particular page again and try to do this exercise this is just your homework would be so nominative sentences are given and then you have to fill in the accusative case like einen similarly keinen then as per the uh, as per for neutral feminine and then plural we just fill in this table and then we'll discuss it tomorrow class yes yeah. upload this video on the youtube i'll do yeah, it yeah no very much needed ma'am mm, okay so sure, i'll do it after the class then <laughs> okay need need, need to go uh, okay no problem but to, okay thank thank you thank you guys bye bye thank take you. care thank you bye bye danke bye